What's up everybody, Ryan the Vintage Viking here, and I have a little bit of a book haul, a little smidgen of a book haul. I ordered some stuff off eBay, and then I uh, was at the store the other day and picked up one book, so I uh, just thought I'd show you those really quick, and let's go for it. All right, hope you guys are doing good. It's been a little bit, uh, since I've been able to record something more than a short. Uh, I've been working on these shelves to get them uh, sort of organized. There's a couple that are actually organized and some that just have books sitting on them. So I'm working on it. Would you guys want a, like a video where we're just hanging out organizing shelves? Maybe, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of fun. I can show you the books as I go. If you do, let me know. So I picked this one up the other day off of eBay. It is a Kathy Koja book. And I had, I've never read this one. Honestly, don't really know what it's about. This might be a YA. Um, so let's see. It says, some guys are more than bad news. Starting out strong. Uh, sounds like YA already. 16-year-old Maggie's life consists of trying to be in, try to be invisible at school, taking care of her alcoholic mother, spending time, spending all the time she can at the Blue Mirror, a downtown cafe. Kind of a cool name for a cafe. She can lose herself there for hours with a, with a cappuccino and her sketchbook, in which she creates a paper world she calls the Blue Mirror. But everything changes when she meets Cole, a charismatic runaway. Maggie is intrigued by Cole's risky life, and uh, his risky life on the streets, and by the, the girls who follow him. Childlike Julie, J-O-U-L-Y, Julie? Interesting way to spell Julie, if that's correct. And Strange Marianne. And when Cole says that he loves her, Maggie comes alive. But as Maggie com becomes more entwined with Cole and looks at him with all her heart, she sees something far more dangerous than she may be capable of handling. And this says it is psychologically gripping. Koja explores the confusion between infatuation and real love and all its cruelty and redemptive powers. Okay, probably not up my alley there. It's probably a little little too uh, YA2, whatever, for me. But the reason I got this one was it has something special inside. Signature by Kathy Koja. So I grabbed it because it was uh, like a bid auction thing and it went for like almost nothing. So I was like, sweet, I'll take it. So that was the first one I grabbed. Just want to show you guys. I also got Stephen King's newest book, Holly. This uh, is um, from uh, one of the characters in Mr. Mercedes named Holly, and this is a, kind of a full length uh, book on her um, uh, character. Uh, there's some other shorts I just read recently, and in um, If It Bleeds, there's a short about Holly in there as well. And I think, what's the other one? Forget the other one. So the Mr. Mercedes series is uh, is like a three-part one. Then there's another book about with Holly in it, then a short, and then this full one. So um, there's that. So I picked those up. That one at the store, that other one off eBay, and then I have a couple packages here. So I figured I'd open them up. I don't remember what is in these. So I order a lot, a lot, a lot of books. So um, I don't always remember exactly what I'm getting when I get it. So... Looking for some scissors. One second. All right, I got them all opened up here just to make it easier. So, all right, let's see what this first one is. Oh, heck yeah. All right, so Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. And you might be thinking, what? Why do you care about that? Like, that's silly. But look who it's written by. Thomas M. Dish, one of my favorites. So Thomas M. Dish, if you didn't know, wrote The Brave Little Toaster. And you gotta go back in your memory banks and go back to uh, when you were a little kid and you watched that movie. You can do what you like. We're not gonna give up hope. That's real touching, Toaster. You're gonna get me ballin' like a baby any time now. And so this one is the sequel to that. And I'm looking for a first, um, the first one. Uh, Brave Little Toaster or in hardcover first edition if I can and i um, pretty excited to have those so that's one of them you gotta love Brave Little Toaster come on all right next up let's see all 
Oh, okay. This is another Cathay Koja one, Velocities. Um, I've actually already read this one. And so I think I just picked this one up because it was fairly cheap on there, like for five bucks or something. So I'll probably put it up on whatnot for five bucks or so. And uh, you guys can have another Cathay Koja. All right. Oh, snap. This is a serious paperback from hell. Can you see what it is yet? Ready? Richard Haig, The City. This is an animal's attack one with pigs. Let me pull it out of this thing. Uh, there is another one before this called The Farm, and it's very hard to come by. It's probably a hundred bucks or so, I think, on eBay. Look at that. If I can get a close-up, or if I can get a shot and put it on there, well, of the actual, like, high-res image. Um, this one's in decent shape. Not too bad. Okay. That's kind of exciting. That's going in with my, my favorites. All right, and then finally, what do we got here? I got one more box that I opened up. And it's got a lot of pink packing peanuts. And I was told these, like a lot of these are like biodegradable now. So like if you get it wet, it like dissolves or something. Is that right? Not that one. Yummy. Yummy. And that is a very, what? Is that seriously what's in here? Okay, that this whole box full for this. That's kind of nutty, but all right. So let me open this. This is called Ring Time, and it is by Thomas Dish also. It's a very oddly shaped book. Very skinny. This is one I just, I didn't have. It is from Toothpaste Press. So, I've never even heard of that. Originally, this was $10. Um, it says, in, the, in a future featuring rings that can record and play back a totally lived, or, yeah, totally lived experience, black markets spring up hustling rings with recorded crimes. Museums, galleries, and reviewers cater to finely produced rings, and in this setting, Dish's impeccably written hilarious tale of jaded appetites unfolds. I love Thomas Dish, um, and so I've been looking for pretty much anything he has, and so that's why I've been trying to find them, and I also grabbed this one because it had Thomas Dish's signature. So... Pretty exciting. I'm excited to read it, but also to own another signed copy uh, of one of my favorite authors. So I still got to find a Stephen King signed copy. Um, I'm trying. I tried to bid on one last week, and um, uh, it was it went for like eighty three dollars, and I had put in like eighty at the last second because it was only at like fifty or something. So I thought, okay, well. I'm gonna try 80 and I did it and it just I didn't get it so um but that's cheap for a king signature so uh really cheap I probably should have just put like 150 or something um anyways that's all we got I'm gonna do a video of all the all the signed copies that I have coming up soon so if you're interested in that it's gonna be up here pretty shortly and then I'm gonna go through uh, let's see if you can see it that shelf right there the one with the books that are not in order or anything uh, 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 uh. those are a lot of my horror ones that i am keeping um so i have like four more of these black shelves that have horror books on it that i'm not keeping and those ones are the ones i am so i'm gonna do a video showing off those just for fun so you guys can see what horror books i have and then once i organize this stuff i'll give you a tour too so till then thanks for being here appreciate you guys Catch you next time.